Hi, my name is Ziad Fayyad. I'm part of the Einstein Analytics product team and today I am going to show you a trend in analytics. Uh, this is a feature not sure if a lot of users know but it is part of the license. It's just a permission uh, setting so you gotta give the permission to the users to be able to see it and use it. And essentially it relies on the idea that a lot of Salesforce users are very comfortable with their reports um, they might choose to trend reports that meaning take snapshots of the reports again directly from the report that they have been using for a while or they're comfortable with also the advantage is the report probably already have multiple objects together and you're just getting the end result so in this case i'm just going to click on a sample report right here and i see here a trend button because again as my user i got that permission among any among other permissions to use analytics studio and right now all what i need to do is hit trend once i hit trend this is going to ask me for the uh, data set name it's going to create a data set name and it's going to create a dashboard title it's a template dashboard honestly you may use it may not but the most important thing is the data set that's going to start uh, storing uh, and appending adding the records as you start running the data set on ba uh, sorry the trending based on the schedule and again it could be daily um, or weekly or monthly so once you hit trend um, again this is going to start trending and what you're going to get essentially is that data set now uh, you need to know also that there, sh there are controls so if you go to uh, setup and you go to settings you know uh, you're gonna see some controls um, on the number of records and the uh, uh, number of records that can be trended per one trend or you know one scheduled trend and the other one based on the snapshots oh sorry the data set that stores all the records and all of that is controlled under the analytics settings right here as i click on settings and you're going to see um, some of these settings that the admin should control and let the users know about. So again, right here, you can see that the maximum number can be 100,000 per snapshot. Uh, you can specify maximum total numbers and some of the lesions and how many days you can keep the inactive data sets. So again, keep, keep in mind there's uh, some more limitations per user and you might want to check the limitation documents for the latest and again this is as of summer 18 and i hope this uh, was helpful